Welcome to the second video in the Java FX tree table view tutorial guys. In the last video I have shown how to make a simple tree table view with just one column and in this video I will be showing how to display complex data that contains more than one column. So this is the code that we have used and in this case we don't want to use the uh, previous code because we have to implement a class in order to wrap all the details or all the parameters that has to be displayed per row and um, I'm going to uh, open the fxml file so we just had only one column and I am going to change the text of the column to name and I want to display details of a person so the first column let it be name and the second column so I'm going to add one more column I can actually duplicate the column from right here so this is the second one name column and second column and I want one more column I'm sorry duplicate so this is the third one and let the second column be the email and the third column be H so we got three columns we have to define a name let this be column 3 let this be column 2 and the first one is definitely the column 1 and we don't want this button which we use for uh, explaining the uh, binding of variables with the table I have just saved the travel uh, the structure uh, fxml file and I'm going to create the control skeleton so that's it and let's define a class for person so that's the first thing when you want to display more than one column uh, per, uh, uh, for a table you have to wrap it into a class so I'm going to create a a class person it's a very simple class and just like we explained before we can use simple string or integer instead we are going to use a simple string property so we are uh, in the first column we have names so symbol string property name property and the next symbol string property is email property and we have a simple integer property and symbol integer property and that will that is the age so age property so we got the three properties and we have to take a constructor so rather than receiving the string i mean the name as a simple string property we can actually go for receiving the string value so i'm going to receive the uh, name and email as mere strings the string so it will be easier to pass the value to the person class a uh, person constructor so integer so we got uh, email age and name and we can't use this equal symbol in this case so I'm going to use new symbol string property symbol string property and I am passing the uh, received string in order to make that property so that's working it's, there is no name property there is only just name and I can do the same thing here for email also new then here I have to use new symbol integer property and in that integer property I'm going to pass the received parameter which is age and the last thing I want to uh, do is to create a getter and setter in it means you can easily generate that by pressing alt and insert button and in this generate function you can actually get uh, use the getter and I am going to click the person so I will get the age property email property and name property and I am going to generate it so this is very important because we will have to access these properties uh, from the cell value editor which we will see pretty soon and instead of displaying a string what we are actually displaying is a person so I'm going to change it to the person and in the first column I am going to display a person with a string definitely it is string and in the second column it is from the person class I'm going to display a string property which is definitely email property and in the third case 
I am going to display a person with not an integer you have to give a number parameter here because only then it will uh, I mean the symbol integer property will be implementing a observable value for number so if you give integer here it will make an error so remember use number when you use symbol integer property so that's about it and next thing we have to do is to create a number of three objects three item objects just like before so I'm going to create three item person create item person person one equal to new three item new three item I'm going to skip the video uh, because I have I don't want to waste your time when I type this I have def uh, defined four person three items and one root element so we got all uh, the four person and the root and next thing we have to do is just like before we have to att attach these four person to the root so I'm going to get children dot set all and in that function this person one person two person three and person four so the attaching is done the next thing that we have to do is to attach this root with the table view just like before so table view dot set root and um, we have to pass the root one and another interesting function available in the table view is set show root set uh, set show root and by giving a false value here we can actually hide the uh, root element since we have only one root element and inside that uh, root uh, the I mean there will on th there will be only one root element and if you want to make that invisible you can use this function set show root uh, as false and all right we are missing the person one I mean e for each column we have to define the set cell value factory we have to define the set uh, cell value factory and I'm going to give the callback just like before so we got this one and the important of using or implementing this get name property I mean this getter is here and I what we want to do is we want to return an observable value in the previous case we have constructed a symbol string property and in this case uh, for uh, d in each person object there will be three properties and for the first column we want the name property so I'm going to return that using the return param dot get value which will return the tree item and in that tree item we want to get the person object and inside that person object we have the name property so first column is okay and we can use the lambda expression and I am going to repeat the step for column 2 and in the second column what we have is the email property so rather than taking the name property we can go for the email property so that too is okay and the third case is the uh, column 3 and in the third column we have an integer property and that is the age property so get age property so there is an issue you can actually directly use the previous function for that I am going to add the call 3 dot uh, cell uh, set cell value factory new callback and you can see that it is expecting an observable observable value of number as return parameter so I'm going to return param dot get value dot get value get value dot get age property so that's it we have given the uh, cell value factory for all the three columns we have given the root we have set the root to uh, set show root to false in order to hide the root and let's run the program so as you can see we got the a uh, tree table view for three columns and if I make the set show root false to uh, come in and uh, we, we can we will see the root when we run the program so we got the name email zero which is not meaningful in this case that's why I hidden that and 
name him inside that we have joseph jones steve and alex so that's it guys that's how you use a tree table view for implementing multiple columns i hope this video helped you i like the video if you like it and as always subscribe for more cool videos